Hello guys, Lexo in the comment section told me to make a tutorial video for a four piece um, handlebar for a BMX bike. So I did my research and this is what I found. Um, so essentially what I'm trying to make is this, this handlebar. I found that that's a four piece handlebar and I don't know much about bikes so please correct me if I'm wrong. And so I found this, the main specs for that bar, which is what I'm going to be using to model this handlebar. And I, in addition, I'm going to be using this because I needed to know what the weight, um, the back sweep and those, those terms mean. And so I found those terms on Google and also I'm going to be using this dimension in addition to the this dimension so my dimension will be slightly different from these dimensions so let's start um to start i'm just going to start a new part click ok and i'm going to change my scale to millimeter and um, maybe my angle i will change it to two decimal places click ok and so i'll click the front plane so the main thing to do when you model this is you click the front plane, but you want to, because of the way the handlebar is, and now you, you see the back sweep that is not just on a single plane, it starts from a single plane and it sweeps into the back. So we're going to use 3D sketch for that, just for because of that. Um, because of that reason, we're going to use a 3D sketch. So I'm gonna start a 3D sketch. I'm going to draw a line. Then I'm just going to start drawing my shapes, which is something like this. So I have something like that and I'll draw another line from here up. So we, are, we have something like that and I'm going to make this line a construction line. And let me exit out of that sketch and go back into it. So now we have our basic shape. So I'm just going to start adding some dimensions to it. Um, according to the spec I saw on that bicycle website, this is a 360. Um, be, and keep in mind, we are doing half of it. Um, we are modeling half of it. This, the length of this handlebar will be 720 because we're doing half of it. That's why it's 360. So, and I'm just going to, and things looks a little bit funny now, so just bear with me. Then the next thing I'm going to do is the height. I know what the height is, so I'm going to make that. That is 220.98. And now I can, I can just pull this up and I will pull that up and I will add my angle is 64 um, no that's not what I want to do I'm just going to delete that this line to that line is 64.72 and what else do I want to add this dimension and that that is the I think that is called the down sweep if I'm not mistaken um, the ups up sweep that is two so we're going to make that two and what else and we are going to um, let me drag this around and see what else I need so this is still moving around we are going to add a um, let me think oh we need this dimension so we can add it that this dimension to this one and that make that let's make that 180 so now my sketch is fully defined but i want to add other other sketch to the features i'm going to be modeling later into this so i'm just going to add them now um like this piece goes all the way down so i can draw this another line down make that collinear to that line and add a dimension to it which this is 
I can just dimension that point to that line, which I'll make that 25. And I'm just going to drag it up, something like that. And so we have pretty much this is fully defined. So the tricky part about it is because now this sketch is just on one plane but what we want to do is we want to make the it goes from this plane the handlebar goes from this plane and it sweeps back because if you look on this picture this is what we are trying to achieve is on one plane here and if you look at it it's the same it's the same one feature that goes up and sweep back so how you can achieve that is on this plane you draw an, uh, why you are still in this sketch excuse me you select your line in 3d you are still in the 3d sketch and you click that point and now you want to press the tab key and you want to make sure you just, notice as I'm switching the tab key look at my pencil you will see that my pencil is changing to now is on the X Y is on the Y Z and this is the Z X so and it's also down in the if you look down in the left hand corner you will see the gizmo that tells you how the plane is oriented so we want to set it in the Z X so so we have something like that so if I go into my front plane we have a view like that if I go to my top plane you can see this is the sweep back or, the back sweep so what we want to do is draw a line here and there so the line is coincident with that point and I'm just going to go normal to that up and I'm going to make this point this that point and this point we want to match those two points together and again go back and if we go on that website again as you can see the back sweep which is what we are working on now is 10 degrees so we are going to make that 10 and make this 10 and as you can see now our sketch is fully defined so if we go to the front plane that's what we have if we go to the up top plane that's what we have and if we go to the right plane that's what we have so we've done the, this is the hardest part of it once you figure this out the rest is easy so what we want to do and excuse me that it is taking long so what I'm going to do is start um, adding making those a construction line so I'll make that a construction line and I'll make this a construction line so now we have our profile so let's make this also a construction line so we need to draw one more profile so which is um, this right here we draw a line there and we draw um, something tangent a circle an arc that is tangent and I'll make select this two arc and that line make it tangent to each other and I will trim this and then start just add the dimension to it to fully define it this line to that line let's make that 145 and let's make this 90 and we'll we'll work on that later for now let's just leave that so the next thing we need to do is now we need to select our fillet and add a fillet to that so when you click, click on that point make sure this line is a construction line so that way when you add your fillet SOLIDWORKS knows that you want to add fillet to those two lines that are solid so we're going to make that fillet 90 and we're going to click OK and now and as you can see that fillet is going to the line on the back not the one on the front then we can make this coincident with that point and maybe we'll delete that something is uh, there is a error over there I'll delete that uh, maybe back up a little bit um, delete uh, delete that intercept then what we want to do is make it coincident with that point something yes so that's what we want we want something like that 
then now we want to make this also a construction line so we almost we are pretty much done from here on now we've done the hardest part of it so what we're going to do is exit out of that sketch then we're going to go into our feature sweep feature and we want to select that sketch and we want to select the circular and let's make it 22.2 .2. and we want to select this line that line that line that line and click OK and we select 22.2 .2 and click OK so that's the first part of it so I'm just going to show that sketch now and I am going to just click on the front plane draw my second sketch select this line convert entity and exit out of that sketch while that sketch is selected you can go back to the sweep feature the circular and you want to make it 22.2 .2. and click ok and we want to do the same thing up here so we're going to select the front plane and we're going to draw a sketch and I'm going to select this and that convert entity and exit out of that sketch while this is selected the sketch 2 the sketch 22 is selected we are going to um, click that sweep feature and circular and we want to make it 22.2 .2 and click OK as you can see we have the bike done almost done so if I click on the front plane the top plane you can see the sweep going back and the the right side you can see it sweeping back and that's exactly what we want so we're just going to add what are we going to do now so this bottom part we can cut that off so we can click on the front plane again draw another sketch and let's just draw something like a rectangle over here and let's draw a line i mean let's add dimension to it and uh, you can make that 50. it doesn't really matter i'm just trying to constrain it so make this line and th and that point um coincident with each other and just add a dimension to fully define your your rectangle so we can make that 50 as well so now we want to just extrude cut and we want to select up to next and we want to do the same thing in the second direction and we want to select up to next and click OK so we have that done so the next thing we want to do is I can hide that sketch now because I don't need it anymore the next thing I want to do is my circle looks a little bit jagged so i'm just going to increase the quality of my circle so the next thing i can do is add a fillet to this and i'll add a fillet there here and here and my fillet will be five the radius for my fillet will be five and i'll click ok so and down here I can add a fillet to that too to that face and that let's make that one and select OK so our part is almost done the next thing we want to do is now mirror this entire part to the other side so I'm just going to go into the mirror select this face and we want to go to the body to mirror and we want just select this part and it mirrors it to the other side and that part is pretty much done and that's how you model it but let's take it one step further and if you look on this part they have this little detail over here and let's just make that real quick so just to make that um, let's select the right plane and ex offset that right plane in that in this direction um 25 and click ok 
So now on that plane one, let's draw a sketch and select the circle. We want to draw a circle. So it's going to be on the origin point and if you section it and along this plane so you can see what we are doing. So we're drawing a circle there and it's going to be the same diameter as our handlebar which is 22.2. .2. So we have that and we'll exit out of our sketch and we want to select the helix and now we want to select the height and revolution the height is going to be 50 50 i don't know my keyboard is acting up 50 and the revolution is going to be 0.5 and the start angle we're just going to start at zero and that is it and we click ok so now on the why we still on we'll click on that plane one again and we want to draw a sketch and another sketch and we want to just draw a rectangle something like that and make it 0.3 there you go and we'll make this 0.3 so once we have that we have a 0.3 0.3 what we want to do is click on that point and click on your helix and you want to pierce it so let me just go normal to and now since we have our sketch and our profile we are going to exit out of it and i can just add this i this plane because it's kind of getting in the way so the profile is a little bit small but it's right there and that's our our part so now we're going to go into feature sweep cut and we want to click our profile and we want to click the part and we're going to sweep cut around it something like that and click ok so now let's just hide that helix and you can see the sweep cut so the next thing we want to do is add a circular pattern to it which for the circular pattern we want to pattern it 30 times and we would select for the feature we'll select that sweep cut and for the for the perimeters the the which is this is like a circular perimeter you can select that face and my computer is going to slow down now so i might oh there you go just came on and once you see you selected that so it should be 30 and selecting that face and click ok and my computer is going to be slow down because this takes a while to render oh wow that was fast so never mind so the next thing we want to do now is mirror this that feature so we're going to select the front plane make sure that you select the front plane and you want to mirror that circular pattern and click ok so now our part is done and this is it so what we want to do now is just add a material to it i'm just going to browse into the material still and i want to select the chrome chrome plate add it to it and just take that chrome plate drag it to my part and select that part and let me see if my real graphics is on oh yes it is on so that is how you make the four piece handlebar for a bmx bike again if i go into my front that's what it looks like the top and the right side and that is what we want thank you and feel free to leave a comment if there's any way i could have improved it and thank you for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial bye